My name is Chris Desi, founder of the Westchester Digital Summit and CEO of Silverback Social. We're here with Rob Astorino. And it's the first interview of the day, first conversation of the day. You walk in, the energy in the room was incredible. People got excited. You kicked things off appropriately. We greatly appreciate it. We're excited that you're here. And we just thought we'd have a conversation. Yeah, Chat about not? Westchester and hang out, you know? What better? Yeah. And Yonkers Brewery outside. Yeah, Yonkers Brewery. Too. Yeah. So, you know, local people hanging out, trying to yeah. network and have some fun. This is great. I, I'm Really, I came in and I didn't expect to see what I saw. You know, a lot of people buzzing around, coming up, saying hi and saying how cool this was. And, you know, vendors. And then you go inside and everyone just wants to learn. You know, because yeah. everyone's got that great idea, and they're like, "How do I get it to the next level? Yeah, how do I how do I make it successful?" And that's pretty cool because you know the the concept of what a business is has been changing dramatically. What's a business? A business could be sitting in your underwear in your kitchen, you know, doing something online, and that's a business now, and it could be very successful, and it doesn't have to be going on a train and going into a fifty story building in Manhattan. It could be coming downtown into White Plains or Yonkers or in Chappaqua. Yeah. It could be anywhere. So it's it's a whole new industry that, you know, isn't as new anymore, but it's just changing rapidly. So you gotta stay ahead of things. And this is a great way, a digital summit for everyone to sort of get together and figure out what's what's working and what's not. You know it's interesting, you say that it's not new, but for a lot of business owners, what is, we're right. finding it's still really new. Yeah. It's one of those things where they may have thought about it and understand that it's there and feel that palpable energy, gee, we really need to address digital and how it affects our business, especially in Westchester, but maybe they don't have the budget. Right. Maybe they don't have the staff internally. Maybe they don't have the time because they're growing and they're doing well mm -hmm. in and of their own right. So the concept behind the Westchester Digital Summit when I founded it three years ago was really to just educate and empower, right? We didn't need somebody to say, Oh, I'm going to start the next Facebook, but it'd be kind of cool if it'd they did. Neat. They was yeah. founded in Westchester, um, but it was really more about understanding how their businesses are impacted by this cultural change that we're seeing in right. Westchester. And I'm sure you're absolutely seeing it. Oh, absolutely, the board. Yeah, definitely. And you know, when I come into work in the morning, I go right past the White Plains train station. I come in on 119, and and I see people going to the train. I see a lot of people coming off the train from yeah. Westchester or certainly from New York City. And uh, you know, they got the hippie look, they got the, the backpack on, and they got the three day beard and everything. Yeah. And it's just cool because they're coming to work here and not what the traditional place to go to work was 20 years ago, but they're coming uh, like to go to where you were. I was gonna say they're Silverback employees. Absolutely, that's what right, yeah. Or, or you know. Yeah, a couple of them come from the city and they come up in the White Plains. Definitely, yeah. and, and everything is here to do at five o'clock at night, you know, yeah. you can go down Mamaroneck Avenue in White Plains or go down in Yonkers to the waterfront and Yonkers Brewery or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's so many different places to do and, and and places to see. So it really has become a different destination. Tourism is huge now for Westchester. Yeah. And in fact, you flip on TV or, you know, Hulu, although Hulu is probably the Brady Bunch way back when, but if you, if you turn on and you see commercials, movies, and TV shows, a lot of them are done right here, like The Following, which I watch, mm -hmm. Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. They're all done in Westchester because it's a real cool place. You got everything. And so when you're looking at a place to work or to start a business, you know, you could look at New York City, and I know Brooklyn's the hip place, but it's pretty darn expensive Yeah. and not always easy to get to. You look at Westchester and our rates for like square foot, if you're looking to start a company or a loft, and, and a lot of these people are building new buildings or they're taking the old buildings and they're renovating to what people want today, it's a third of the cost. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you're starting up a business, do you want to pay two times, three times more than you should when you really could be putting that into marketing or recruiting or something else? Yeah, I certainly don't. And frankly, you know, when I conceived of starting my business three years ago, so I guess it was April 14th, it's our third anniversary for Silverback Social. I live in Chappaqua, I have two beautiful little girls, and I turned to my wife and I said, I can absolutely have an office in New York City, right. which I had been doing and I had been commuting and that was fine. It was part of my normal routine. But I had one prerequisite. I wanted to be able to put my girls on the bus. That's perfect. Yep. And I said, okay, if I'm going to be able to put my girls on the bus. You ain't getting on the 7 a.m. train. I can't get on that 7 a.m. <laughs> right. train. So I had to investigate some options. And the first option was co-working. 
And I was like, oh, they have co-working space in Westchester. This is the coolest thing ever. Right. So that's where we incubated Silverback was at the digital arts experience. And I didn't even realize something like the digital arts experience was happening in Westchester. And through that, we were able to network in this really thriving, beautiful environment and ecosystem of very tech-minded people. Yep. People that understood that the commute just wasn't part of their life, that they felt that they could have a thriving business either in their home office and or in co-working mm -hmm. space. And then we were able to kind of springboard off that into a full-time office at 19 Court Street, right down the That's street right. from you yeah. guys. Yeah. And we get to see the hustle and bustle of downtown White Plains. And we lose nothing. No. We're working with major global brands yeah. like Legendary Pictures. We're working with local top flight brands like Cohen Fashion Optical. These are brands that previously were hiring guys like Ogilvy and are saying, wait a minute, there are boutique agencies in yeah. Westchester that are doing high caliber work, that are compiling these types of details within our digital marketing ecosystem that is rivaling and surpassing the Ogilvy work. I mean, I'll talk about it later when we get on stage, but Silverback is pulling in all sorts of awards. The people that are gonna be speaking today, we have Facebook speaking, we have LinkedIn speaking, we have Jeffrey Hazel, the former CMO of Kodak, we have Dave Kirpin, who's the C CEO of Likeable Media. This is IBM. high caliber, IBM yeah. right in our backyard coming yeah. here. Um, so it's hugely exciting for us to see what's happening in Westchester and to see how it will continue to grow. Yeah, where do you think it's going to grow? So let's go 15, 20 years from now. I mean, you started, this is the third year of this. Yeah. You're based in White Plains. Yeah. There's a Starbucks right there. Yeah. Where do you see it 15 years from now? Well, here's the fun part. I have no idea. Yeah, that's good though. Okay. And the future is up to us in Westchester to make. Right. And because of guys like you that are sort of carving that path for us and giving us opportunities so that we can have businesses that thrive in Westchester, it's hugely exciting. And that's why as an entrepreneur and somebody that's responsible for people, right. all of a sudden it becomes that's bizarre. Right. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm responsible for, their, for, their, for that payroll and for their yeah. paying their mortgage and their rent. We choose Westchester, we choose and define our own future and we can do it together. So it's pretty exciting. And you know what's pretty cool too? We, we talk about we're New York's intellectual capital, right? So what does that mean? 45%, 45% of those 25 and older have bachelor's degree or higher, which is number one in the country. We beat all states. It's incredible. So when you think about that, it's like the talent pool is the first thing you want. You don't want bad employees. You want good employees you are going to make your business grow, right? They're right here. They're getting off the train or they're getting on the train. They're growing up here. They're graduating high school here. They're going to college and they come back hopefully. But you know what? When they go to college, they need, they need a reason to come back you're giving them a reason to come back. Yeah. And, and you, you've got the best and the brightest right here. And that's one of the top things that an employer is gonna look for, and it's already here. Transportation. You got three lines on Metro North. You have a beeline bus system. You've got highways, potholes, but you got highways. <laughs> but, you know, so it's kind of all there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny that you mentioned transportation. I'll just give this one anecdote. So when we moved from the city to Chappaqua, we made that choice, started a family, it's what happens. Right. We chose a townhome development where I could walk to the train station in Chappaqua. When I have meetings in the city, for us, it's all about Metro North because right. I walk to the train station in Chappaqua, go into the city for the meetings, come back, and I can walk to my office from the White Plains train station. And then I take those meetings, hop back on the train, and go, go home. home. Yep. No, I know. You can't ask for anything no, better. And when you're on Metro North, it's like a luxury liner. So yep. it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. It's fantastic. Well, listen, I thank you so much for hey, being here. I thank you for, for taking a shot at Westchester, succeeding in Westchester, getting bigger, yeah. employing people, yeah. and we need more people like you to take that chance. Thanks so much, Rob. Thank really you. appreciate it. Appreciate right. it.